Hello friends, hope you are all doing fine. In this tutorial, I will deal with the procedure to perform hatching in 3D using AutoCAD software. In fact, this video is the 7th tutorial in the series of tutorials on 3D kitchen modeling using AutoCAD. I strongly recommend you to go through the previous tutorials on this topic before exploring this video. If you want to get a complete idea about the procedure to create the cabinets, the handle, doors, windows and all the elements of this 3D kitchen. Alternatively, you can just go through this video alone if you have already gone through those videos and if you want to just to get an idea about performing hatching using AutoCAD software in 3D. Please visit my website sabircad.com if you want to download this 3D kitchen file. Just click on the tutorial files link on the right side of this website. You can click on the link provided at the upper right corner of the screen to get the previous videos on 3D kitchen modeling. Now let's get started. In AutoCAD, if you want to perform hatching on a desired plane in 3 dimension, the first step is to align the user coordinate system or UCS on that particular plane. And the easiest method to bring the UCS on the desired plane is by using the face option of the UCS command. So just click on the visualize tab and you can select the face option from here and just click on the desired plane. Now you will see XY getting aligned on that plane. Now it will ask you whether you want the software to accept this configuration. So just give an enter to accept it. And hatching can be performed using two different methods. The first method is called array casting method in which you can always pick a point on the desired area in which you want to fill a particular pattern. In the second method, you have to specify the boundaries wherein the pattern is to be filled. In this context, the boundary method is the ideal method. So let's create a boundary using a polyline. So let's click on the home tab and I'll choose the polyline command to create the boundary and I'll start from this point. And I'll move all the way up till this point and I'll pick a point over here. Then and the next point is a point over here which is this end point which can be clicked by orbiting the view and this point is right underneath which is corresponding to this point over here. Now I'll again orbit the view straight down. Pick this point as the next point and right click and you can just close it. So this is the boundary in which you want to fill the pattern. Next let's go to the hatch command. So in 3D the hatch option is available in the drop panel and here you have hatch or else you can type the letter H to get the hatch command. Now it will ask you whether you want to pick a point or you want to select the boundary. These are the two options I was talking about. You can just click on the select option. Now I'll click on the boundary to select it and this is the pattern. I'll just give an enter to accept this pattern. Next we have to incorporate some changes on this pattern. So I'll just click on this pattern. And here I'll change the pattern to this ARB68 and if you want to see the, all the patterns you can just click on the arrow underneath this arrow. Just click on that arrow. You can see most of the patterns at a time and I'll choose this pattern ARB816C. Now we have to give a suitable scale and angle for this pattern. I'll give it the scale as 0 0.04 or something okay because this is a suitable scale. Now if you want you can go for a background fill, I don't want any background fill. So you can just click on this arrow and you can give none at the background. Okay, so this is the pattern with the desired parameter. If you want you can change the color of the pattern. So you just click on the pattern and this area represents the pattern color. I'll choose a darker shade. You can change the layer of the hatch pattern while you perform hatch or even after you hatch. So let's do that. So I'll select the hatch pattern. Now you have got a ribbon corresponding to hatch editor. Here you have properties panel, just expand it. And over here you will see the layers. I have already created a layer called tiles. So just click on that particular layer. Now these patterns got transferred to the tiles layer. In fact, we have performed hatching on this phase to create the tile effect. But when you just take a close look on this area, you can see that it would be better if the tile effect starts exactly from this corner. Now you can see some half tile or quarter tile in this area. So how do you do that? For that select the hatch pattern and you can start the hatch origin. So just click on set origin option in the hatch ribbon. Now you can pick the desired point from which you want the hatching to start. 
just click on this point. Now you can see that hatching starts at this point and we have got a full tail effect. This is always a better option and it gives a more realistic feel. Now we can just close the hatch editor. Next we will perform hatching on this face. For that we have to repeat the same sequence of steps right from the beginning. So I'll align the UCS on this face first. So I'll go to visualize tab. Then I'll select the face option of UCS command and I'll make a click here. Then I'll just give an enter to accept this orientation. Then I'll go to polyline and I'll start right from this point. Then I'll pick the next point over here. The next point I want to be here. So if you want to get a point, you can just track this point so that you can pick there. Then I'll come back to this one. Then I'll just orbit slightly towards the side. Then I'll make a pick here. Then again, I can just track to get this point. Next, we have to pick a point corresponding to this point underneath. So I'll just track this point first. Then I'll track this point as well. When I move the mouse there, I'll get a point. Just make a click there. Then you can just come down to this. Then I'll give a right click and close. So this is the boundary. Next, I'll perform the hatching using the hatch command. So I'll go to uh, the draw panel and I'll choose the hatch command here. When I'm asked to select the objects, I can select this boundary, which I have created just now. You can select the polyline. Now here you have a match properties option. When you are asked to select the hatch object, you can just click on this. So whatever hatching you have performed here, that particular pattern along with the parameter will appear at the selected boundary. So that is the use of match properties. Okay, now if you want, you can shift the origin to a different location. So I'll go to set origin option and I want the origin point to start from here. So the tile effect starts exactly from this point. Now I'll just click on close to close the hatch editor. Next, I'll just mirror this hatch pattern onto the other side because it is exact a replica of what you see here. So I'll go to mirror command. Click on mirror. You can select the hatch as well as the boundary. Click on the boundary, polyline. It's a polyline boundary. Now, when I'm asked to select the first point on the mirror line, you can choose this mid. Then since the ortho mode is on, you can just pick a point straight up. That point along with the first point will define a vertical axis. Now just give an enter. So this is the hatching. So now we have completed the tiling effect on the portion of the wall between the base cabin as well as the overhead cabin. Next, we will create the floor tiles. For that, you have to align the UCS with the plane of the floor, which is nothing but the base. So the easiest method to align the UCS with the base is go to visualize tab and you can just click on the world. So it is taken to the world coordinate setup. Now let's trace the boundary using a polyline. So I'll start from this point to this point and I'll trace all the necessary vertices here. Now you can just right click and close. So this is the boundary. Next I'll apply the hatch. So I'll go to draw panel, click on hatch. This time I'm going to use the pick point method. So just click on pick point and pick an inside point here. When you pick an internal point, it will automatically trace the boundary using the ray casting algorithm. As per this algorithm, from the picked point, the software emits imaginary rays radially into all directions and it will identify the boundary which is encountered by this ray. Now let me change the color of the pattern. Now I'll change the background color to a gray shade. Now I'll also change the pattern to a different one. Let it be this knit pattern. And I'll change the scale from 0 0.04 to 10. Now I'll close the hatch editor. Now I'll switch over to the perspective view. So the easiest method to generate a perspective is to first adjust the view using the orbit command. Shift scroll wheel you can use to orbit it. Then you can change the projection from parallel to perspective by right clicking on the view cube. Then you click on the perspective. So this is a perspective view. Now you change the visual style to shaded with edges to get a proper view. I'll just slightly zoom in. This is the easiest and the fastest method to generate a perspective using AutoCAD software. 
but we can generate different types of perspectives such as single point, two point and three point. Please click on the video link which is provided on the right side to get a complete understanding about the concept of perspectives and an exclusive command in AutoCAD with which you can generate different types of perspectives. Please feel free to explore that video. So that's all about hatching in 3D using AutoCAD software. Thanks for your valuable time. Please hit the like button of this video if you really liked it and subscribe to my channel SabirCAD for more interesting videos related with 2D drafting and 3D visualization. Until I catch you in the next video, bye bye and take care and peace be upon you all.